Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to attempt doing the Windows 11 upgrade on my Surface Pro 5 or the 2017. This is a pretty old machine now. It's pretty beat up. It doesn't stand on its own. I've made many videos on this. First and foremost, I apologize if the audio isn't as good as it usually is. My label microphones have broken. For prerequisites, we have two roadblocks that most people will face. The first one is TPM 2.0. Without getting too boring, TPM is a hardware-based security mechanism to prevent hackers and other bad people from doing bad things. Most machines that are really old don't even have this hardware chip. The second one is the processor. If you have a really old processor, again, like this laptop does, it's not gonna be officially supported. So there's two ways to check for TPM. If you're running the Surface Pro 17, like I am, it should already have it installed. So I'm just gonna type in run, hit enter. I already have this populated, but you're typing tpm.msc, hit okay. It's gonna load the screen right here. Under specification version, you'll see the 2.0, and that's it. The better question is, what if you're running another machine where you know you don't have it, or you're not sure if it's enabled on the hardware level? What we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna run PowerShell. You're gonna right click and hit run as administrator. Hit yes on the prompt. And then we're gonna type get dash T PM. The first line you see here, TPM present, that means that the, on the hardware level it is enabled. Ready, where it says TPM ready, it says true. Let's go to the Microsoft Windows download page. Just open up a browser, Google, type in download Windows 11. It should be the first link. I'll tell you right now. You do not want the first option, which is the installation assistant. Doing so is gonna run some checks using the health checker. It's just gonna tell you the same thing I just told you earlier, how your processor is too old, it's not gonna be supported. So we're not gonna go through that method. I think for most people, the best way to go is to use the second one, which creates a bootable disk for you automatically. So when you click that, it's just gonna download a file you're gonna have to run this as the administrator or else it just doesn't do anything. Okay, from here, you're just gonna hit accept. You're gonna select English, use the recommended options. In my case, I'm gonna choose a USB flash drive because a lot of these machines don't have CDs built in anymore. And once you hit next, it's gonna start downloading. Once you have the boot drive all set up, you're going to right click on setup.exe, run as administrator, hit yes. We already know that we're not getting updates, so I'm going to turn this off just to avoid any hassles. Uh, since it is a new operating system, you don't want to be the guinea pig. I'm going to uncheck or leave the bottom option unchecked. Hit next. It's going to do that health checker again. It's going to tell you that your processor is out of date or that you don't have TPM or whatever. TPM, from what I know, is a core requirement. But I believe in terms of CPU, they're a little bit more lenient on that. Okay, so this is just telling you that you don't meet the minimum requirements. If you continue, there's no updates. Uh, disclaimer, so by doing this, you accept that. I'm not liable if you screw something up. Okay, so we're now ready to install. I'm just gonna hit that and let magic happen. So previously, before the product was actually released, there was this GitHub site where people were using to bypass the checks and stuff. But um, it looks like you don't have to do that anymore, so that's good. Even though I hit the option not to update the machine, it looks like it's still doing some thing behind the scenes. Okay, it looks like the upgrade is complete. If you really want to keep it from patching earlier, I guess you could turn off or try turning off the internet 
while it's doing the upgrade. But I guess I'm okay with it. I didn't care that much. Now I'm just gonna log in. Typical welcome screen. I don't know why they still do this, by the way. I mean, I don't really see the point, but maybe they're doing something in the background. There we have it. It's the Windows 11. The desktop background is the same. The biggest difference is down here. Looks like uh, there's some difference in the GUI, but the major functions are still there. So there's some things I still need to figure out on this new OS. I just want to show you again, this is the Surface Pro 5 or the 2017 model. This is Windows 11 running on it. This is really meant to show the basic process of upgrading your existing Windows 10 operating system to Windows 11 with a few caveats. Maybe in a few weeks after I have some time to play with it a little bit, I'll make an update video. But for now, I just want to show that it does work. You can do the same at home. Good luck and let me know what you think about the new OS below. Share your thoughts and comments. If you found this video helpful in any way today, please like and subscribe. That would really help my channel. Thank you and have a good day.